Hey guys, what's happening? Just wanted to show my battery desulfator. This thing on the back wheel on it. I didn't design it. It was designed by a man named John Bedini. And uh, he gave the plans away for, for free. And uh, told people to use it. Build it, study it. It does a lot more than desulfate batteries. But that's what I tend to use it for. And it, right now it's working on this Autocraft lawn and garden battery for my lawnmower. You know, they get weak over the winter and you need to charge them, but this does more than just charge it. It actually, uh, it actually desulfates the battery and gives it its capacity back. And uh, I've been charging this one for a little while. On the right you have a meter that is hooked to a couple of car batteries in series for 24 volts and uh, that meter is a little wonky so probably it's not 23 volts I know the battery light battery warning was on on it earlier so the meter on the right is kinda wonky uh, the one on the left is is the charge of this is what this battery is sitting on right now uh, 1354 and uh, trying to go to 55 and all this thing is, is a single transistor and a couple of diodes and a variable resistor. And it's hooked to a coil that's underneath here. It's two uh, lengths of wire, 130 feet, wrapped side by side. Um, with a, uh, on that spool with a welding rod core. And then the wheel has magnets. I can't remember how many, 16 or 22 or something like that. Uh, all north facing out. And they're just regular old ceramic magnets because you you're not trying to generate power. You just want them to pass by the coil and flip this transistor on and off as they go. So, uh, the, uh, you, the switching, you can't hear it at the speed it's at right now because it's switching so fast it uh, when it switches off you get a uh, high voltage spike that snaps this battery this is just one event there's a bunch of events going on it uh, it turns on energizes that coal down there and then switches off really fast and when it switches off that coal will uh, produce a high voltage spike that comes through this diode and hits this battery and uh, it breaks the sulfation up turns it back into the acid solution and uh, rebuilds the plates it won't fix them all but weak ones it'll definitely it will definitely charge them and some of them it'll revive that can't be charged with a regular charger and it's slow you want to charge it for hours this way and uh, the goal is is to take this battery, charge it up, let it rest for an hour or so, maybe even more. Some people rest it more, and then charge and then run it down really slow, really slow, to like 12.2, and then let it rest a while. And when it's rested, put it back on the machine and take it back up uh, to as close to 15.4 as you can get, 15.4 volts, and uh, that that will bring the battery back it will get stronger and stronger every time you do it till it gets either completely uh, it'll get all the way back if it's not damaged too bad you can take it all the way back to as strong as it always was on some batteries that have broken plates and things like that it can't fix that sort of thing but normal sulfation it can get rid of it'll make that battery strong as can be you know, ideally you know um, my battery like this that's still good it's just a little spongy from you know sitting and all that a few cycles will put it right back I've taken car batteries and done like 30 cycles on them that's you know about a cycle a day it's about a cycle a day so about a month worth of cycling and I can put the car battery back in a car and send it on its way and it'll last a long while I've got one of these batteries so old you wouldn't believe it if I told you that I've been bringing it back. I've brought it back four or five times 
so uh, the case is actually turning white from being in the element so long it just keeps coming back there's other ways to do this you don't have to use a wheel uh, this is a 10 circuit unit that I built not my design and it's still using his circuit but somebody else designed this configuration but it, it works the same um, and then there's this kind I built several of these it's just a blower fan and uh, instead of just uh, making air flow when you put power to it you can charge a second battery when you put power to it and you get the same air so you're recycling the power and uh, the wave that comes out of this is the very same thing that comes out of this one so there's more power in there to be collected if you want to I just don't usually bother main thing I'm trying to do is fix this battery and you can see it's it's uh, taking a charge it's up to 1350 five trying to be five and as soon as I get ready to stop this I'm gonna take those meters off because you don't want anything on the circuit other than the circuit because it disrupts the tuning and you want that high voltage spike to get all the way into that battery all right there's my craziness I said I wouldn't show this stuff anymore but uh, it works and there it is Mr. John Bedini I miss you buddy I wish you was still around have a good day.